It's a nice day in Rochester, New York. It's just sunset right now. And I am playing with my Tesla antenna, capturing radiant energy. I got a piece of trash metal here on the ground, attached with 14 gauge house wire. Coming over here to my circuit board, the uh, Tesla aerial circuit or the Jess circuit. And I have my ground going through the uh, house ground right now. Only the uh, only the green wire is uh, attached. The other wires were stripped away. Only the green remains, just so I can plug into the house ground. And uh, I tried putting this antenna up in the air. Didn't work very well. I put it on the ground, and I'm getting really good readings. I'm getting uh, more than 200 millivolts from having this aerial on the ground. It's incredible. I'll discharge this so I can uh, start again. A lot of glare out here. Okay, I'm reading zero. Let the thing do its thing here, the thing, the thing. And yeah, it just goes rip roaring right up. Lots of current to be had out here. And that's from uh, about uh, 40 feet of wire with a piece of metal at the end. Uh, I find that the uh, piece of metal at the end is integral. Doesn't work well without it. Just the plain wire won't do. But rising it up on a uh, very large uh, pole I had, uh, whenever I raised it up, the level of electricity I could capture went down. So it looks like for me, laying this across the ground due west from my house is the way to go. Other directions didn't work very well either. They wouldn't get over 100 milliamps or uh, millivolts, I'm sorry. So here I am getting very close to a quarter volt. It's incredible. All I gotta do now is uh, figure out how to pump that into a battery. And I got a trickle charge for life. So, again, the old air circuit they call it. I call it the Tesla Aerial. And if you have an electrical project you've done at home, uh, save the wire. <laughs> Alright. This is Ron. Beautiful Rochester. See ya.